Okay, let's talk about some basic algebra skills that you need to know. And the skills that I'm talking about, we're going to see uh, as we do this equation. Now, this equation for some of you out there might be a little bit intimidating. You might be saying to yourself, basic, this is not basic, this is advanced math. Well, you know, this word basic is relative. It's all depends on what you're, you know, you're studying or what your background is. Uh, so if you're first learning algebra, okay, this may not be so basic. But if you stick with me, I think you'll certainly understand it. But what we're going to be doing as we solve this uh, equation is practicing a lot of fundamental skills that you need in algebra, not only to solve an equation like this, but other more advanced equations. So we're going to get to this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program. I found the link in the description of this video. Well, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. So I have all the uh, big courses, main courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, college algebra. I'm going to be launching my pre-calculus course here uh, very shortly. Uh, it's taken me a long, long time to build that uh, course out. But um, uh, I also have many, many, many test preparation courses. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, Accuplace or Alex, uh, teacher certification exams like the Praxis exam. There's so many different exams that people take that have a tremendous amount of mathematics on it. So a lot of people are studying math um, that are not even in a math course. They're reviewing, you know, high school level mathematics because they need to know math to pass their exams. And now these exams are very, very important for people's uh, goals. You know, uh, you know, for example, let's say you want to be a nurse, you got to I uh, pass a nursing entrance exam, which has mathematics on it. So um, I understand that, and I've built out a lot of great, very comprehensive um, test preparation courses. You can go to my site, check out my full catalog of courses. If I don't have the course you're looking for, uh, drop me a uh, note in my contact form, and then I'll give you my best suggestion or actually make the course for you. Okay, um, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. I have a great homeschool learning uh, program. So if that's your situation, you can check out my uh, homeschool learning system. And then uh, I do a lot with just helping people get through their math class. So if you're taking Algebra 1 and you're struggling, um, I could definitely help you out. But one of the things you need to be doing to help yourself out is be taking great notes. Okay, over decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is clear to me. Those students who take great notes, and I'm not talking about average notes, I'm talking about excellent notes, okay? It's like, like, wow, these notes are impressive. Those students who uh, can take those kind of notes almost always have like A pluses. Uh, they do tremendously well. And the opposite is true. Those students who just like, eh, I'm not into note taking. I'd rather look at my cell phone. I'd rather talk to my best friend. I'd rather do my homework in math class for another class. Listen, I get it. I made all those mistakes except for the cell phone part. I went to school in the 1980s, and we had cell phones, but they were just gigantic cell phones. I don't even think you could text message. Maybe you could. I don't know. They were like $5,000 back then. But if I had a cell phone back in high school, boy, I don't even know if I would graduate. I was already distracted <laughs> enough. So I made all the mistakes. But here's the thing. you got to remain focused, all right? If you cannot focus, all right, you're not going to learn. That's the bottom line. Don't try to cheat the rules of learning, okay? Don't be like, oh, I got a photographic memory. Um, oh, I can, like, cram one or two days before and still pass. Mm, if you were able to do that in the pa in, in the past, okay, you've, you've been kind of, like, lucky. When it comes to algebra and, and more advanced mathematics, there's just no way you're going to be able to do it. Just trust me on this one, okay? There's just too much information uh, going on. So you got to remain focused and evidence of uh, remaining focused is your notes. Okay, when you look at your notes and they're like excellent and comprehensive and detailed, that's saying that you're paying attention, right? That discipline. All right. So improving your note taking, but as you improve, you still need that need still need something to study from. So I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay. Let's get to our prom here. Now, if you think you can do this problem, I would certainly encourage you to pause the video and, you know, try to 
try to figure it out, okay? Uh, that's kind of well, the best approach to, you know, my videos. I always have a prom. I encourage you to, you know, you know um, see if you can do it and see what mistakes you might make. But, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution to this prom step by steps, and we're going to um, uh, emphasize skills, very important algebra skills that you need to know. So let's get right to it. And here is our problem. Now, this isn't going to be a complete uh, lesson on solving linear equations, but, you know, we're going to cover a lot of ground. Okay, first things first. Now, anytime you have an equation, okay, we're trying to solve for H here. The first thing you need to kind of uh, look for in an equation is these things with parentheses, all right? These deals right here are telling us that we have to do something called the distributor property, all right? Now, again, I'm kind of... Um, loosely giving you an well informal lesson on you know solving equations. Uh, this this is a full chapter in my, my algebra course. If you really need to learn this, you want to check out my algebra course on solving equations or pre-algebra, algebra two. But the first thing we need to do is uh, apply the distributive property. Now, if you don't know what the distributive property is, okay. Now, by the way, too, uh, you'll have equations, and sometimes there is no parentheses. Okay, if there is no parentheses, then you don't need to do this step. But if there is, this is like the first step you need to do. All right, so I'm gonna, I'll do this one, and you see if you can do the rest here. Okay. All right, so the distributive property means that we can distribute this number on the outside of these sums or differences. So it goes like this: so seven times two h will be fourteen h. Now, this is a plus sign, so it's going to be plus, and then we have to multiply this 7 times this 2. So that would be 14, okay? So that's the distributive property. So if you think you can finish out right here, go ahead and do that. Now, this guy over here might confuse, -y, confuse you, <laughs> not confuse-y, that's a new word, but this is right here, this is really like a negative 1, okay, that little minus sign, so we still have to uh, distribute that guy right there. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. All right, I'll give you a chance to pause the video so you can do this step on your own. Okay, so this is going to be 3 times h, or 3h, and then 3 times this negative 5 is negative 15. That's equal to 4h, and then this negative 1 times that 2h is negative 2h, and this negative 1 times that positive 1 is negative 1. So let's just talk about the skills that we just applied here. So 1 is the distributive property which I just showed you. Uh, the second thing is knowing the rules of your positive and negative numbers, okay? So if you don't know um, how to multiply, divide, add, and subtract positive and negative numbers, you're going to have a difficult time in algebra. So uh, don't stress out, okay? If you're like, oh, I'm totally lost on all this stuff. I have tons of videos, and check out my pre-algebra playlist. I have tons of videos on basic uh, skills, on fractions, LCD, how to add, subtract, divide, multiply, positive, negative numbers, uh, distributive property, et cetera, et cetera. So I have a lot of stuff in my uh, playlist there, but, um, you know, it's uh, all this information is best contained within my uh, courses. But um, anyway, so what do we do at this stage? Now, once we've done the distributive property, now we can see each individual term here, okay? So we have numbers and we have terms. So we're going to be looking for things called like terms, okay, like terms, and by the way, I like this word like, and if you're liking this video so far, please consider smashing that like button, just kind of had to throw that in there, but anyways, we want to look for like terms, okay, now like terms are the following, so 14H and 3H, these are like terms, and 4H and negative uh, 2H are like terms, so like terms are, and this is again, this is a basic algebra skill, are things that have the exact same variable in power, okay? So, because this has an H and this has an H, not H squared, nothing else, it's exactly H, and this is H, we can add up these like terms. So 14H and 3H is going to be 17H, and notice how I'm doing this problem step by step by step. That's exactly how you should be uh, doing your work. So I'm gonna write this 17H right here, and then I have my numbers, okay? So 14 and negative 15, all numbers are, are like, so we can add those guys up. So what's that? 14 plus a negative 15 is going to be, hopefully you said negative 1, okay? That's going to be equal to 4H and negative 2H. I can uh, add these like terms. That's going to be 2H, and then I just got a negative 1 right there. Okay. 
Now, at this uh, stage of the game, uh, we can kind of just quickly review. We can kind of like grade our work. So 7 times 2H, that's 14H. 7 times 2, 14. 3 times H, 3H. 3 times negative uh, 5, negative 15, that's 4H. Negative 1 times 2H, negative 2H. Negative 1 times positive 1, negative 1. So if I'm a teacher and you're showing me your work this way, I could be, up. that's correct. And then I'm saying, okay, they do they know how to add like terms? That looks good. This looks good. That looks good. This looks good. Boom. Okay. Think about uh, how your, your, your teacher is going to grade your material. This is why neatness, organization, structure, you know, is critical. So how you take your notes, how you do your homework, it's all important. I'd rather you not do math if you're going to do sloppy math like this, you know, where your math looks like that and you're, and you're looking at your math going, mm, I don't even know what I wrote. You know, I used to be that way until, you know, <laughs> I got enough bad grades to be like, you know what, I need to change. Okay, so now what do we do at this point? Well, there's no more like terms on either side of these equ uh, the equation. So what we want to do is get all our variables on the left-hand side and all our numbers on the right-hand side. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and deal with the variables first. So... This 2H, you can kind of think of all the, you know, it's on the wrong side of its, it's got to go with its teammates. So it's got to go over here, and then this number's got to go over there. So how do we move something from one side of the equation to another side? Well, it's a positive 2H. So I'm going to be like, I need to get rid of you over here. So let's subtract that 2H. But if I subtract it over here, I have to do this right here as well, okay? So that's another main principle of algebra when we're solving equations. We can do whatever we want uh, to one side of an equation, but I have to do it equally to the other side, okay? Think of an equation as kind of like a perfect balance scale, okay? Like a seesaw or teeter-totter. So now I can just add down in a column manner, and I get 17H. Minus 2H, that's going to be a 15H minus 1, so I'm just bringing this part of the problem down, is equal to 2H plus a negative 2H is 0, and that's going to be minus 1 right here, okay? So I'm looking at your work, you know, uh, you, if you're writing this down, I'm like, yep, they know what they're doing, so check mark, okay? All right, so now I just got to move this number over to the other side, so how do I do that? Well, we're going to do the same thing. I have a negative 1 here. I want to move, I want to get rid of it, so I'm going to add a 1 over here, but if I add 1 here, i got to add 1 here, so now I get to um, go ahead and add down in a column and manner, and I get what, 15H is equal to negative 1 plus uh, positive 1 is 0, okay, so I have negative 1 plus positive 1 is 0, so I get 15H is equal to 0. So some of you might be saying, hmm, you know, I uh, what does that mean? Well, at this point of the uh, problems, let's say we had 2H was equal to 10. So I would, how do I divide, or how do I uh, solve for H? Well, I divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we still do the same step here, even though this is 0. So solve for H, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 15, and I would get H is equal to 0, and that is the answer. And if you got that right... Uh, go ahead and give yourself a big uh, happy face with a little mohawk. We used to wear those things in the 1980s. Those were pretty cool. I didn't wear one, uh, but, you know, a lot of my friends did. Give yourself an A+, plus, A 100%. That's pretty excellent. Now, one thing I want to uh, stress here, okay, just a little detail, because we did divide 0 by 15, okay, and that was 0. So, you, if you take zero and divide it by any number, let's say all your friends have zero dollars, right? You have 15 friends. You're like, hey, listen, we have zero dollars. Yay. Let's divide it up amongst ourselves 15 different ways. We each get zero, <laughs> right? So zero divided by any number is zero, okay? However, if you go into your calculator and go 15 divided by zero, then you're going to have problems, right? We cannot do this in mathematics, right? Uh, division by zero is not allowed. You'll get some sort of error, all right? So just make sure you understand the difference there. But that is the answer. So if you take a look at our work, okay, you can see what we practice here. Basic algebra skills, okay? Neatness, structure, distributive property, adding and subtracting, multiplying, dividing, positive, negative numbers, okay? All this stuff is critically important, right? And you need to know this basic stuff 
Uh, and you got to practice these these habits, okay? So you can continue to progress onto more advanced equations and topics and algebra. And that is going to be my uh, goal and mission with these uh, videos: is to teach math in a clear and understandable way, keep you excited about the topic, okay? Wherever you're at, if you're one of these people who like have this like math phobia or hate math, you're like, you know, I hate math, and ah, just trying to. Uh, don't tell me about math. I just need to solve, know how to solve this. So I can do my homework, pass my test. Listen, if you if you have that kind of mental attitude, then it's just you're just making your life a lot harder. All right, try to relax about the topic and learn it. Everything would go smoother, even if it's not your favorite subject. I get it. You know, a lot of you people like uh, you know English or history, or and that's perfectly fine. Music and stuff like that. But if you're taking math, try to take it in a way that, you know, it's not like torture and you're like, oh, you know what? Actually, it's not so bad. Okay. All right. So uh, with that being said, if you like this video, definitely uh, consider smashing that like button helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. Have tons and tons of videos organized on my uh, channel, basic to advanced mathematics, but my best work will always be my math help program. You know where to find those links in the description of this video. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.